This is the new UL101 ultrasound detector kit. There are several components that you will find in the kit. Start with the UL101 ultrasound receiver, which is the most important component. The label on the side of the receiver has the model number, part number, and serial number. The serial numbers generally begin RA0 with the corresponding numbers for all standard products. The intrinsically safe version will begin RA3, so it can be used in a Class 1 Div 1 hazardous environment. Begin by placing a standard 9 volt battery into the receiver. Open the rear end cap by turning this screw just a couple of turns. Do not unscrew it all the way. Remove the rear end cap. You will notice there is a label on the inside indicating the correct position to place a battery. Slide the battery in place while holding the receiver at a slight angle. Be sure not to push the battery or you may bend the battery contacts. Simply return the rear end cap to the back of the receiver. Tighten it down with the screw. The rear end cap keeps the battery exactly where it needs to be. Turn the receiver on using the potentiometer knob, which is also an adjustment for sensitivity. Notice that the green LED is indicating that we have power. Flip the switch down into the battery indicator position to determine the battery and power level. The analog meter should indicate half of scale or the 510 mark or higher. If it drops to the 510 mark or below, just replace the battery. A standard battery gets about 45 to 50 continuous hours of use. Once you've tested the battery, flip the switch back to the analog meter position. Plug the headset into the headset jack in the rear end cap. You can test the connection and sensitivity of the UL101 by rubbing your fingers in front of the microphone. You will clearly hear the presence of ultrasound without any ambient audible sounds, which is important in a noisy manufacturing environment. The analog meter indicates the relative intensity of ultrasound. The switch on the right is a gain control switch. Half moon is half sensitivity. Full moon or full gain is full sensitivity. If you have a CBM kit, your kit includes the UT2000 universal transmitter. The transmitter also operates with the 9 volt battery. Place the battery in the transmitter in the same way you did with the receiver. The transmitter label also indicates the model number, the part number, and the serial number. Notice that this serial number begins TA3, which indicates this transmitter is intrinsically safe certified. Simply flip the power switch into the up position to turn the transmitter on. The LED indicates that it is on. Use the transmitter for testing non-pressurized vessels. Place the transmitter on the inside of the vessel, close the vessel up, and listen around the hatch or door and window gaskets, weld beads, and cracks for any leaking ultrasound. The transmitter will fill the fuselage of a Boeing 747 aircraft when doing cabin pressure testing. The kit includes several acoustic or airborne attachments. This is a 1-inch acoustic tip used for leak detection. There are metal acoustic probes which are threaded at each end to attach together for safely reaching and pinpointing. Besides the aluminum probes, there is also a polycarbonate probe that is used for safely inspecting electric panels. The set of concentrator attachments increases the sensitivity of the UL101 for leak detection. The large concentrator extends the distance or range of detection of the UL101 by 200% and narrows the beam of reception to 5 degrees off center. The mini concentrator increases the sensitivity of the UL101 about 150%. There is also a 1 inch acoustic tip concentrator, which increases the sensitivity of the UL101 receiver. This tip is perfect for pinpointing those difficult vacuum leaks or extremely small leaks that no other detector can find. When not using the UL101 as a leak detector or electrical panel inspector, you can use it for mechanical components such as bearings, gearboxes, valves, and steam traps. In that case, use one of four solid probes. These solid probes range from 3 to 13 inches in length. The rule of thumb is to use the smallest probe possible and still be safe. 
Attach the solid probe to the end of the receiver. Plug in your headset. You will notice that you will not pick up any airborne ultrasound, but you will only detect the vibration of that bearing, the gearbox, or the valve or the steam trap. Use the solid probes to determine the lubrication level or condition of bearings and gearboxes. Detect which valve or steam trap is leaking by or which steam trap is stuck open. Each of the UL-101 ultrasound detector kits include an additional cable for recording the sound to InControl. The InControl software allows you to record, analyze, and trend motor bearings and gearboxes, perform surveys for leak detection, and geotag the leaks and electrical sparking to create a report. For further information on our other products and services, be sure to check us out at www.ctrlsys.com. And don't forget to sign up for your free cloud training or get certified in our ultrasound level one or level two courses.